We begin with breaking news in Norfolk. That's where crews are on the scene of a fire at an apartment that left a child hurt. It's happening on Fort Worth Avenue just off East Little Creek Road in the Oakdale Farm section of the city. Tony Side's Kiana Patterson is at the scene right now. And Kiana, what are fire officials saying? We just got updated information. We know two people were rescued from the flames here at the Willows here on Fort Worth Avenue. And we know one of those was an 11 year old girl. She was taken to CHKD and her dad was rescued by ladder on the second story um, from a window. But now we're going to talk with Battalion Chief Gary Winley. He's going to tell us about those rescues and if there's any updates on the girl's condition. There, there is no update. She was evaluated or taken to King's Daughters to be evaluated. Uh, as far as the other rescued, the, the dad, uh, the, they were in an apartment adjacent to the main fire apartment, if you will, uh, and they couldn't get out. So we removed the dad with a ladder through a window, and the little girl was taken down through an interior stairwell, uh, again, by the firefighters. And looking at the damage, you said when crews got here around 5 o'clock, you said there were flames shooting out of the back of the building. Right. The, the initial report was that the second story balcony was on fire. When we got here, we found heavy fire coming from that area of the building, uh, second story balcony area. So investigators are here now. Uh, they're combing through what they can find to try to determine a cause, but right now it's still under investigation. And you guys got here around five and it was under control in just one hour. Tell me about how you guys worked to put these flames out. Right, so multiple, this went to a second alarm. So we bring in additional crews and, and trucks so we can put lots of water on this fire to, to knock it down. Uh, so th that helped a lot, uh, getting people here quickly and uh, go into that second alarm quickly, get more people here, more water, more resources, and we're able to put it out much quicker. And I know they're investigating the cause of this fire, but you did tell me some people are displaced. How many people are displaced because of this fire? So right now we have three children and six adults that are displaced. We have two apartments that were damaged by fire and two additional apartments that have heavy smoke damage. And witnesses told me that they heard loud popping noises. Are there any reports of an explosion? No, we, we haven't confirmed any explosion. Anytime there's a fire, there's, there's popping noises of, of things. Um, could be light bulbs and stuff like that blowing inside of the, the uh, apartment. And they are investigating now. Any idea on how long that may take to figure out the cause of this fire? No, no idea. No idea. They're taking their pictures and, and combing through. They'll have to determine where it started first, and then they'll go on to see what started it. Thank you so much for talking with sure. us. Um, and also, we know the where the fire started. No one was inside of that fire when I mean inside of that apartment when that fire started. Correct. Right. We did not rescue. Didn't find anybody in that apartment. So uh, we can't account for them, but they're not here. Absolutely. Thank you so much for talking with us. And as he mentioned, fire marshals are here investigating to figure out what caused this fire. But again, we do know an 11 year old girl was taken to CHKD and we're working to find out exactly how she's doing right now. For now in Norfolk, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.